with a storage capacity of 124 million acre feet of water, the Volta Lake is one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. It is about 250 miles long and covers 3,283 square miles, which represent 3.6% of Ghana's area. The Volta Lake is navigable and serves as a key route linking Ghana's northern savanna with the coast. Since the emergence of the Volta Lake, commuters who ply it as the main means of transportation in pursuit of economic activities have been faced with life-threatening challenges due to the lack of attention given to safety measures and related practices. We didn't have life jackets on the Volta Lake for commuters to use. And so people were traveling on the Volta Lake without any safety protocol. In the event of accidents, we get children, women, and people losing their lives. Those days, when we were kids in this community, you hear always of this um, um, boat accidents and how people perish as a result. Me, 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 me. In deploying pragmatic measures to curb the insistent challenges associated with traveling on the Volta Lake, the Ministry of Transport, led by Honorable Kweku Furi Siama, partnered with Ecozo Limited on the campaign titled Volta Lake Transport Safety Project. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as part of this program, the government of Ghana is providing free life jackets for commuters on the Volta Lake as a means of assuring safety even in the event of accidents, offering safety education, speedboat to patrol the waterways for rare time updates to all relevant stakeholders, providing employment to improve upon livelihood. Before the Volta Lake Transport Safety Project was launched, in the year 2010, we had the Volta Lake Transport Enhancement Project that was still with the Ministry of Transport and it was Resource Services Limited at that time, but the project had to go on a hold in about 2013. And during that break between 2013 and 2020, we realized that the number of deaths on the lake had increased. There were the where operators were overloading their boats and life jackets were not being monitored and used. So therefore the ministry thought it wise to bring back the project. And I must say that just by from implementing the project in just the past eight months, we've realized that the dead tolls on the lake has reduced tremendously. In July 2021, the Volta Lake Transport Safety Project campaign commenced with recruitment and registration at 39 MMDAs in eight regions surrounding the Volta Lake, namely Northern Region, Northeast Region, Savannah Region, Bono East Region, Oti Region, Eastern Region, Volta Region and the Greater Accra Region. We have our operations in the three northern regions, in the Bono East, Volta region, OT region, some parts of the eastern, and even at Adam, where the Volta Lake actually meets the sea. So we can say that the project is impactful because it has also helped to reduce the rate of unemployment in the communities along the Volta Lake. Hitherto, 3,000 people were not employed, but with the introduction of this project, over 3,100 people have been employed and they further go to affect livelihoods because they have dependents. Out of the 3,100 beneficiaries, 1,000 of them were given basic training in rescue and basic water survival skills at the Eastern Naval Command in Tema. I bring you greetings from the Military High Command and the Naval Headquarters. Indeed, what Ecozoil of the Jospon Group of Companies has achieved can best be described as unprecedented collaboration for water transport safety in the country. I'm excited about the commitment of the government and the transport ministry 
to protect lives and properties in the Volta Lake sector. The Ghana Navy is committed to maintaining a professional posture, ready and capable of supporting any effort that brings development to the people of Ghana. Therefore, I take keen interest and welcome this training collaboration between Ecozoil Ghana and the Eastern Naval Command. I am reliably informed that the training has had a huge impact on boosting trainees' water confidence, competence, and knowledge of water survival, as well as basic lifeguard and preventive training. When the casualty gets to that place and is in distress, they start blowing the whistle. When you are going to save their fellow, in the first place, have an eye contact with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I want to see the moral as it was at the two sides. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I hope. Hold it. Hold the side of the life jacket. Hand across the chest. This way. Go. Hand across. Look at me and copy the same thing. In executing our mandate, Ecozoil Limited ensures all our registered and trained operatives are well resourced with the requisite PPEs and tools for work. They gave us motorbike to facilitate the movement of the brigade because if you look at this, most of the riverbank banks are not at one place. So you have to move river bank by river bank to ensure the safety transportation of people on the Volta Lake. Also to ensure all the landing beaches are clean and clear. The scope of our mandate covers the distribution and supervision of life jackets, the inspection and the monitoring of boats, as well as keeping London sites clean. As part of our mandate to prevent accidents on the Volta Lake, Ecozoi holds monthly sensitization and education programs for our stakeholders comprising boat owners, commuters, traders, traditional authorities, MMDAs, the Ghana Maritime Authority, the Ghana Navy, among others. <laughs> I said, 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 Obu oko ba osuro se nti obeden obefro boat no but omo di love jacket for love jacket braye no en de obi ara ba onsuro se nti obefro nti ama ye djuma no ekoso eye mani je kesi pa se e gozo on this side ba di abadan ba ya me so transport so me do mo ase so so mo yo mo kan bom o mo di side djuma di abadan ba ya ye ba fiya se djuma di o mo di abaha nso no ye ba fiya ye ba taachi in an interview with some government representatives, they expressed appreciation to the government for the introduction of the Volta Lake Transport Safety Project, while special recognition was given to the impact and benefits the project has offered the people. Um, it is a model that has actually um, helped in educating their boat owners and people who use the lake transport to safeguard themselves through their provision of uh, life jackets and also educating them on best uh, practices. 
Then the second aspect uh, is also a security issue. Unemployment is a serious threat to our security. So coming in, they are not bringing people from Accra or importing people from anywhere. People are recruited from among us and they are trained on some of the education projects to undertake among the people and they end salaries at the end of the month. So it's also actually reducing the rate of unemployment and also strengthening our security among the, the youth. This project has been very, very helpful because of one, uh, the provision of life jackets uh, to support uh, the people. We all know the carnage that uh, we have on our water bodies without the wearing of uh, uh, life jackets. So when these life jackets uh, were provided to the people, I was involved in the distribution at Mankango and Kafaba. And so for that reason, it has reduced some of the accidents that uh, we used to see. Previously, you could hear in the news, uh, people have lost their lives uh, on uh, this uh, water body just because uh, they didn't have the opportunity to uh, wear life jackets. This time around, it has reduced considerably. In the same spirit of gratitude, they further appealed for the project to be expanded to employ more youth and also to other inland water bodies that are not captured by the project. I want to use the opportunity to thank the government of the day under the leadership of His Excellency Nana Dudankwa Akufuado and the Minister of Transport for the introduction of the Volta Lake Transport Safety Project. I want to encourage the Minister of Transport to give an opportunity to this particular project and let it expand to all other water bodies that are found within this Volta Lake Transport Zones so that at least more communities can be included and that will help us to achieve our desired objective. <laughs> We are grateful to the Ministry of Transport for this partnership to run the Volta Lake Transport Safety Project, being ably supported by the Government of Ghana. We call on other government agencies and international bodies to support this project in order for us to expand our scope to other areas which are not included in the current project, such as River Uti, Lake Bosomche. These areas also have people crossing the water and also depending on it for other economic activities. Again, we would also want them to support so that we'll get enough life jackets for everyone that depends on a lake or water for his or her livelihood. We want to also increase the number of employment of the youth in areas where there are lakes and water bodies so that unemployment rates will be reduced in the country.